This video is to show you how to create a loans table for the library database which will allow members to be loaned books and the first step we do here is to create um, a table here in design view so double click on there and this is where we type in the field names well, the first thing we're going to need is a, a primary key for this table so we'll just call it loans ID and the data type we nearly always choose for, for these is auto number and click up the top here on the little key to make sure it's a primary key. Right, the next two fields we need are going to be the foreign keys, which are the linking fields to, to the other two tables. Well, members ID is one of those. And what we're going to do with that is to look up our members in the members table so that we can only loan a book to a member that exists. So we click on look up wizard there and it says I want to look up the column uh, in the table and here we go the table we want to look it up in is members click on next and when we do this we nearly always select the primary key and then the fields that we want to be displayed when we when we choose these so I've chosen forename and surname from member because that's the easiest way to do that um, we can order this if we really want to according to surname and there we go, there's an example there of my two members. Click on finish and we can save that. And we need to give the table a name here, which is obviously going to be loans. Go OK. Need to do exactly the same here for the for the books. So we need book ID. That's going to be the foreign key there, which is the primary key of the book table. And again, choose look up wizard. So that's the second time we've done this now. Click on next. This time from the books table. This time we'll choose the book ID, primary key, and also the title. Uh, we'll have our books organised in ascending order of title. So it's the A's first and the Z's last. There they are. Just stretch it out a little bit so we can see that. And click on OK and save it like that. Obviously, we can now en enter a load more fields if we really want to, but for this demo, um, I won't really bother to do that and so we'll close down the loans table and then what we need to do is to, to organize the relationship between them you know connect together the primary keys to the foreign keys so at the top here on the toolbar there's a little button there ready for relationships if we click on that um, what we now need to do is to right hand click show all of the tables and you can see what happens then is all of those tables we just drag them out so we can see them better is we've linked together member ID to member ID, book ID to book ID. So we've got all of our relationships sorted out. So if we just save the layout of that relationships, what we've now done is to, is to create the tables. Uh, what we can do by going to loans table here and double clicking on it to open the table, we can actually loan a book to a member. And the way we do this is, is click in the members here a little drop down combo box allows us to choose a member that exists so Alan Aardvark book ID similarly drop that down as well let's give him A level pure maths wonderful choice and because he's a bit of a geek what we'll do is we'll give him another book and we'll give him something down here a little bit further uh, technology and production let's not leave Dora Dribble out here we'll just give her one book and we'll make that a classic slum. And if we save our table like that and close it down, that way we've booked books out to our members.